Hello designers, this is Rebecca and this is your assignment for plan the tour critique. So let's take a look at these submissions before we get into all your beautiful work. For the overview, you were to create designs for an event poster, a quarter sheet handbill, a concert ticket and a VIP pass. So using the research that you've collected and your ideas and info from your brainstorming, your mind maps, your persona, personas, your mood boards and graphic standard sheets along with the specs for uh, this assignment and from the reading, you were to create the items for a specific, uh, sorry, specific to a concert. So you'll present your creations as two compiled PDF files that include printer ready PDFs with bleeds and crop marks, PDFs without bleeds and mock-ups. So if you only turned in one file, you were supposed to turn in two separate files. Uh, you're to create your graphic headings and any vector graphics in Illustrator. You can edit or manipulate photos in Photoshop. You're to create your mockups in Photoshop or Illustrator. You're to use Illustrator or InDesign for your final designs you choose. And uh, the assignment must be uploaded by the due date. For the requirements, um, you needed to include a design for a 24 by 36 inch po concert poster, include a design for a concert handbill, both as a four up and cut as a one quarter example. You would include a design for a concert ticket using font specific to the era you're not allowed to use any fonts created after the time of your genre. You would include a mock-up of each medium. You would include the band name, venue, city, and date. You would include uh, a mock-up for each of those. Includes uh, one. To, you were to include a one two-page PDF with your poster, with crop marks and bleeds, and the poster trimmed. This is going to be a large dimension PDF. Then you were to include the rest of the files compiled into, compiled into a second multi-page PDF and a template was included. The assignment was to be uploaded by the due date and let's get into it. All right, so first up we have Maria. So Maria made three versions of your poster, which is pretty fun because then they can kind of be collector's items. And I think they look really beautiful. We have the, um, we have the artist name and the name of the tour, and we have the theater, the time, ticket price, and the address. Great, so we got all the info on there, and they look wonderful. This mock-up is really cool. Looks great. Oops, sorry. These are the tickets just, or sorry, the event posters just by themselves, and they look fantastic. I love this texture in the background, along with your mixed, um, uh, halftone pattern and other grungy effects that just looks really nice. Uh, also the your text effect for blood ink looks really good too. So I love the use of um, these bright pops of color with the uh, black and white background is really nice. Awesome. And now here's your tickets. I'm sorry, your quarter bills and looks good so far. Quarter sheet handbill front, okay. And then the back. So I don't see the four up here. Uh, so let's just see if it shows up a little bit later. But we have all the important info and I like this frame that you added, it looks really good. These tickets look fantastic, I love them. I love the image on it. And everything is in this uh, vertical layout which looks really great. We've got all the important info and the text that you chose the font is perfect. I love the barcode at the bottom. It looks very authentic. It looks like a real ticket. It's really wonderful. You even have this order number on the top, which looks great too. It looks awesome. Really good, really good. Excellent, looks great. Here's your VIP pass, looks really nice. Great idea to rotate that text and have it go down the side. I think it works really nicely. Looks good. Okay, so let's see what is in your other document. Okay, so here's your four up. So you have, I was wondering what you did with the fourth one, uh, which artist you put on there twice, and that looks really good. Let me zoom in here. So you have all your crop marks. Um, so this stuff could have been included in the other presentation. The second document was just supposed to be the poster trimmed and the poster with the bleeds, which I don't see here at all. Oh, here it is, <laughs> gigantic. Let me zoom out. All right, so here's your 
poster with the crop marks and registration marks looks fantastic and the bleeds. So great work there. And then you got the other two versions. So you did some extra work and it looks really, really nice. I don't see a trimmed version. Um, so, but I did see the trimmed version uh, in your presentation and um, great. All right. Thanks so much. Next up is Keon and Keon genre is 80s new wave. So here is your poster. So we have the date and the location is the sphere. Okay, and we have the tour name based on the album as well as uh, the album, uh, the, the artist name. And we've got the dates down here and your price and the address. Great. All right. So I think that uh, it's important to make the artist name larger than the venue. So just keep that in mind um, in the future. So here is your uh, one with the crop marks, but it's not the correct um, dimensions. So um, yeah, and this was supposed to be separate in a separate file. Oh, cool. So here's another one and I see some crop marks. Okay, here we go. So this is your quarter bill. This is one of them by itself. And then this is the four sides. Sorry, I'm just clicking to see if I missed anything. Okay. So then I'm not sure what this is with the crop marks on there and the registration marks. Okay, so this is the VIP badge here. Looks nice. This is the ticket. Okay. Um, it's missing some info. So it doesn't have the um, location on there or the price and some of the other info that's on those um, ticket uh, examples. So just make sure that you get all that info on it for the final presentation. These mock-ups look great. Looks really nice. I'm not sure what this is. So a quarter bill is going to be the quarter of a um, letter size piece of paper. So this is somebody holding about a letter size document. Uh, and it needs to be somebody holding a, a quarter size of that letter size. Okay. that So it's when you take a letter sheet of paper and you cut it into fourths. And that's why it's called a, a quarter bill. All right. But this is a nice mock-up over here. And these are supposed to be two-sided. So you want to include a design for the front and a design for the back. All right, and this is a nice ticket mock-up. I like the shape of these tickets with this little cutout here. And this looks really nice, really good. Great, perfect there. So I didn't see a second, um, a second uh, PDF uploaded with the poster trimmed and the poster with the bleeds. So make sure that, I know you do a lot of work in Photoshop, you pull that Photoshop file into InDesign or into Illustrator, then you export it as a PDF from InDesign or Illustrator, and you select all of the printer marks, and you make sure that you have the image extending into the bleed lines so that it um, crops correctly. So you don't just Photoshop in bleed marks or crop, crop I'm sorry, bleed, um, you don't just Photoshop in crop marks and registration points. That's just not correct. And so if you're going to go get a job where you do things like this, you got to know it. Okay, great. Next up is Juliet. And let's see what Juliet has for us today. Great. So we started with our concert poster mock-up. It looks really nice. And on our poster, we've got the name of the tour, the name of the band with your logo. I love this image here with the silhouettes. It looks really cool. And this color palette is really nice. This beautiful monochrome color palette, super dramatic. We have the time, the date, and the location. Perfect. Great. So this is it with bleeds. So same with you, um, Juliet. You've got to pull this. If you build most of it in Photoshop, you need to pull it over into Illustrator or InDesign and export it from there. Um, selecting the um, export it as a PDF and select all the 
printer marks and then um, make sure that when you place it into Illustrator or InDesign, you extend the background image to the bleed marks, uh, to the bleed lines so that it crops correctly. So you can't just add a dotted line uh, for the trim area in Photoshop. That's just not the way to do it. All right, so here is your concert quarter bill and it looks really good. I love it. This is really nice. This little map down here, that's cool. That's a great idea. And I love this um, white piece of tape to add some really nice contrast to get our eye to be drawn into the band name. It looks great, really nice. And it's also a nice way to balance some of the lighter areas on this front side as well. Really, not, really good. Great, oh cool, I can see your map a little bit better here, nice. Excellent. And here's your ticket. It looks fantastic. I love the layout of it. Um, your use of all these dividing lines to separate the groups of text is really good. Uh, your mix of fonts is perfect. It looks fantastic. Really, really good layout there. And it has all the important info. Really good. I love these serial numbers on there too. I think that makes it look super authentic along with the perforation mark. It's great. And this, um, scalloped edge is really cool too nice effect excellent good and the gradient's nice too really nice cool so you did a backstage pass sticker i think that looks fantastic going along with this whole moody um, um monochromatic palette through the whole thing and we have all the info we need great excellent nice work really good okay so let's go ahead and check out your poster PDF. So here's the trimmed one. And here is the one with the crop marks. Just make sure for the final presentation that you have the correct um, printer marks and registration marks and crop marks, okay? Thank you. Next up is Gia. So Gia turned everything in on one document. Um, so uh, I'll show you why I had you separate them. So this is your trimmed poster and it looks amazing. I love it. And this is your poster with the correct trims and um, re printer registration marks, all the good stuff there. So that looks really good. So let's look at the poster and you've got your tour name and your band name. And we have the location, including the address ticket information and price and the date. Perfect, really nice. This is just such a strong image. It just works so well, it's so striking. So now we have a mock-up of the posters. It's working, looks good. All right, so those are big, big files. So now we gotta zoom into this guy here. Okay, so my Acrobat is freaking out just a little bit <laughs> with the this file. So um, I can't zoom in any further than this, but this is your quarter bill, the front and back, and it looks really nice. We've got the version with the crop marks. So it was good to leave some white space between them for when they get trimmed, it looks really good. This is great having the artist photo on there. I think it looks really neat. And uh, songs that'll be covered. Cool, great, nice work, all right. Nice layout. So then here's your ticket here. And I can't zoom in anymore. I'm sorry, I can't show it bigger. The VIP pass is pretty cool. I do recommend having the date on there uh, because people keep them as like memorabilia. So I, the ticket looks good. I, uh, I'm having a hard time like seeing all the text on there, but I like this perforated area here to cut that part off and overall I think it's good I think you need a barcode over here though on one of the sides and um, yeah I can see the admission price that looks cool yeah I think it looks good so just add a barcode to your ticket and you'll be good to go thanks so much next up is Twyla so Twyla this is your poster and it's just the one poster by itself I don't see a second um, a second image on this PDF. So we've got mystified animals, animals, 
Animas <laughs> uh, Wonderland Tour. So we have the name of the band and the tour and a little featuring thing about the album. That's great. We've got the date and where it will be located, including the address. Special guest is really great to include. I love that you did that. Um, 18 and up. We don't have any ticket information on here. So that would be a good thing to include. And then I needed to see your poster with the um, trim marks and uh, registration marks as well. So then let's take a look at this is your handbill, which looks wonderful. Um, this is the front side and the back side has the date and uh, the time. And this has the ticket information here and then the image background image is flipped upside down, which looks cool. All right, so the only thing you have all this wonderful centered text everywhere, but then you have this down here on the side. So I recommend bumping this stuff up and just stretching this, um, these two lines of text, just make them one line of text and stretch it across the bottom. Um, Cause changing when you have everything centered and then just one little thing to the side, it just feels a little uneven. So you might as well balance it out. So here is your ticket. Let me zoom in. There we go. Cool. I can zoom in on this one. Um, let me zoom in some more here. Nope. That's not going to let me. Okay. Uh, so we have the location and everything here. So we do need a barcode on this ticket. And I'm just trying to read this here. Okay. I see it's the address. Cool. And okay. And then there's the ticket price. Okay. So I wouldn't um, separate this with a dash like this because it makes it look like it says six o'clock PM to $15. It, it's just a little confusing. So uh, I would just move the $15 maybe over to this side or, you know, uh, just put it somewhere else. And then that will help balance it out. But once you put in your barcode, you'll need to move some things around anyways. And here's your backstage pass. Great. Cute. I love it. So a lot of times with the backstage pass, people like to have at least the year on there, maybe the month and year or the whole full day, um, just as to keep it as like memorabilia. All right. Great. Thank you so much, Twyla. Okay. So here's Anthony's poster. We've got the trimmed version and the version with the crop marks and registration marks. So um, the, the dimensions somehow got mixed up here. Uh, because this poster should be about the same size as this guy here, just without the white trimmed er, trim area there. So I'm not sure what happened uh, during the exporting and making this PDF, but something happened. The other thing is this background image needs to be extended to these crop marks here. So I can see that the background was only extended to the trim area and it does it kind of defeats the purpose of having bleeds if you don't extend it, the background image to the bleeds. So make sure that you do that for the final presentation and for any clients in the future, all right? But this is a great layout. I love all the um, tour dates down here and it's really uh, contrasty and eye-catching. So it'll get a lot of people, I think. So let's check out your presentation. And we have the poster here, looks good with the poster with the trim marks good and then the mock-up so this mock-up is kind of cool but it's like so dark you know this poster has such great color and when we put it here it gets all muddied out so I do recommend finding a different um, a different mock-up image that doesn't have this huge shadow being cast on there just to show off all the hard work you did it's getting lost down here okay and then this is your handbill the front side. Okay, so it looks like you didn't do a backside for the handbill. And I do recommend doing a backside for the handbill. Um, you could put this information on the back there and then it won't be uh, so busy on the front. It's not too busy. You did a really great job laying it out and it looks good with the drop shadow. It's just you'll have a lot of space on the back to fill in. Good mock ups. Okay, and now here's your ticket. Great, I like the perforation here in your mock-up. It looks really nice. Um, let's see, I do recommend having a barcode on there somewhere. 
I do like this no refund. That's great. And this, um, so usually with this section and row and seat, under the section, you'll have a number. Under the row, you'll have a letter. And then under the seat, you'll have a number or two. So um, this general admission part, oh, never mind. I see. I'm sorry. If it's general admission, there's no seat and row and to yeah, get it. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Um, Cool, and I'm like to see these prices on the ticket and the time that the doors open. This is a cool layout for the date. I've seen that on lots of tickets and I really like it. Yeah, cool, it has all the info. I like that you included the production company. Fantastic, great, good stuff. And here's your VIP pass. And I love this, let's unleash these beats in the streets. So I do recommend for the VIP pass having a date on there because people just like to keep that for a keepsake. But other than that, it's awesome. Thank you, Anthony. Next up is Abigail. So Abigail started with the um, mock-up for the poster, and it looks great. They're nice and grungy and punk rock. Here's your quarter bill. Looks good. Looks really good. I love this, um, this little, I don't know, can we call that a ligature? Like how the O is uh, interacting with the V. It looks really good. And this is the back side. I love that you went black and white on the back. Really smart. Cool. You've done such a wonderful job incorporating all these um, watercolor uh, like strokes and little icons and stuff. I think it looks really neat. It looks great with the as this kind of juxtaposition or even contrast with the um, with the ransom style text and the typewriter text. It just looks really great. Cool. Okay, so that's it by itself. And then this is the VIP pass. Looks good. I think uh, I would like to see a date on there or uh, your band's logo. I can see the relationship. Oh, here it is. It's on this version. So it wasn't included there, but that's okay. It looks good here. Good, good. And then this is your ticket. We've got a barcode. We've got a seat number. We've got the lounge and the logo, the time, the date, and the amount of money. Great. All right. Nice and simple. And I didn't see a mock-up for the ticket. So just keep that in mind for your uh, final presentation. And let's take a look at your poster. So here is the trimmed poster. It looks wonderful. I like this thin pink around the edge to contain where the white might bleed off. That looks good. All right. And here is your... Um, version with the trim lines. Sorry, it's a really large file and my Acrobat is kind of freaking out over it, but that's okay. It's supposed to be a large file because it's a really large print. There we go. So um, where the trim lines fall, it looks like it might cut off that pink line that I was complimenting, but that's okay. Um, at least uh, at least you have something spread all the way to the bleed lines, which is perfect. And this looks fantastic. Great, strong finish. Thanks so much, Abby. Thanks everybody. I am very excited to see what comes next, what you do for your um, alternate image making posters because you've all been so creative so far. So that'll be really fun to see as well as your t-shirt designs. All right, thank you.